I'm also buying a set of teeth. I don't know if they're real or not. I gotta find out, right? Have any of you ever been approached by a genie that grants you three wishes and in a panic you're like, uh, I'll get a chicken helmet, a pile of worms, and a Nick Cage Cheeto sweatshirt? No, because no one would ever wish for those things. No one would want those things. Who would make that? I... Actually, hold on a second. Looks like you can get all of those things on wish.com. You know, uh, Wish, that website that you always get those random ads for on Facebook, and you're like, who would buy this shit? I will. I signed up for an account to view their products. And so now I'll probably have my identity stolen, and soon I will wish that you never wished for me to make a wish on wish.com. First impressions with the site, it's like Amazon, but a flea market version. And they have a very strange obsession with Nick Cage. Like unexplainable, like a really weird obsession. Basically anything you could ever want as Nick Cage you can get. Nick Cage mug, Nick Cage pillow, Nick Cage blanket. You can get a Nick Cage shirt that says John Travolta on it. You know what? Do they realize that's not the same person? Or, oh, yeah, I get it, I get it now. It's the face-off movie. <laughs> Another product that I saw today that I found interesting is this creative fancy ballpoint shock electric shock toy gift joke prank trick fun. But uh, what I found most amazing were the reviews. Here's one. Excellent item. Pranked my nine-year-old son with it and he loved it. Did he? Did he love it? Your son, try this. Um, what is this, Dad? Oh, it's a, well, it's a pen. You need it to write. But I don't know how to write, Dad. Press the button. Press it. Okay. Ooh, I love this. Uh, it's a little bit too powerful. I could feel it in my thumb for a while after. I don't think my son will like it. <laughs> there you go. That's the difference between a mom and a dad. I was looking through this morning, uh, preparing for the video, and some of these items I genuinely don't understand. Like a sleep mask facelift up belt slimming. Uh, according to the picture, it just looks like a strap you put around your head. I'm gonna check out some reviews, see if... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Had a bit of fun putting it on, but got it eventually. <laughs> Did you though? <laughs> Four days early. It fits like a corset or something. Eh, but five stars. So I guess she wanted it to fit like a corset or something. Here's something else that I found today on um, on the Wish website. Are you wondering like what is this? <laughs> Well, you're kind of dumb, because it clearly says in the description it's a new fashion wig beard hats, hobo, mad scientist, rasta, caveman, handmade, knit, warm, winter fashion, joggers, crop cap, man, woman, Halloween gift, funny, party mask, beanie. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Here, babe, there's something I wanted to show you. I love you. Um, what is this? Honestly, I'm not, I'm not sure. She's like, did you find this in the weeds in the backyard? You're like, I waited seven to nine weeks for this to come, babe. That's why it looks like this. Today when I was looking at some reviews to see if people got the products they actually ordered, this one is a wonderful story. I ordered a wall tapestry from Wish and the picture to choose the design from was super small. That, that actually does seem to be the trend. It came in the mail today and I put it up. Not bad. It looks like he didn't get ripped off. This guy really could have cleaned his room. Is that a wig? Is that a wig? This guy's got a wild room. I can't tell if he's 16 or 38. Either way, no girlfriend. My blind ass took a picture of my wall like, hey, wow, my wall looks complete. And it full on took me two hours to actually look at the thing because I suddenly realized it's made of pugs. <laughs> Okay, honestly, that's sort of dope. It's sort of dope. People come over like, oh, I like your art. And then you're like, look closer. <laughs> okay, this one honestly is the best. 
My 16 year old daughter bought this thing. It is ridiculously small and I probably couldn't legally post a picture of what it looks like. <laughs> I, that would probably be too small for a human. Wish.com is notorious for selling items for like $1. Things you can't normally get for $1. Like this uh, hand portable inhaler. Is that for drugs? I'm not actually sure what that is. Um, gonna check out one of the reviews. Excellent product and also perfect to be able to carry with me when I'm taking my wife out in the car. I decided to go to the about me section to see if I could figure out a bit more. Wish is an online marketplace that connects millions of users to merchants all over the world. We have everything you can need from everyday basics to weird and wacky and everything in between. One of the world's fastest growing shopping apps serving customers in more than a hundred countries and in 40 different languages. Where is Wish from? Wish is based in San Francisco but has offices all over the world. Amsterdam, Toronto, Shanghai, 750 plus employees. It was founded in 2010 and uh, they met while attending University of Waterloo. Wow, that's actually just like an hour and a half away from where I live. Why are the prices so low? Wish is focused on giving our worldwide customers access to the widest selection of affordable goods. We do this by working directly with suppliers and prioritizing value over brand, packaging, and fast delivery. This sounds like your drug dealer that you go to on the corner that's trying to convince you to go to him because he skips the middleman. They prioritize cheapness over fast delivery. I'm starting to feel like the delivery time is any time between now and never getting it for sure. Okay, so I switched my location around because I'm actually going to go ahead and order some stuff right now. You can check it out. I'm getting this winter jacket because it's $1 and I truly don't believe I'm going to receive it at all. Obviously a Nick Cage mask. I'm going to get a Donald Trump toilet brush. And of course no purchase would be complete without a Nick Cage disappearing pillow. Everything only... Oh, sorry. I almost forgot the most important thing. I'm also buying a set of teeth. I don't know if they're real or not. I gotta find out, right? So, here we go. Alright, well, that's it from me on Wish.com. Honestly, I could have done like a 20-minute video, so I'm probably just gonna come back and do another one because it's actually ridiculous, some of the items on here. Keep checking back and uh, subscribe because the items that I ordered may eventually come in and I will showcase how good or how not good they are. They're probably not real. All right, get out of here. Just subscribe and send me a like because it's nice and chill in here and uh, we need some relaxing moments in these times.